Hi everyone, this is Mindy and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a really fun stencil technique that involves water reactive inks and a baby wipe. Now this is a technique that I learned from Jennifer McGuire in one of the online card classes classes and it's the stenciled two class. I really wanted to try this technique so that is what I'm going to be doing today. Some of the supplies I'm using is Rustic Wilderness Distress Ink, Leafy Sprig Dye, Reverse Sister Sentiments, and then I have the Chunky Knit Stencil. So it was recommended to use a dark color of ink to give the best results, which is why I chose Rustic Wilderness. Now this is in the Distress Ink line. The reason it's Distress Ink that I'm using is because it is really water reactive. You can try this technique with some of your dye inks. Just be noted that the results may vary. This is gonna work best with an ink that reacts to water. So I am just covering my entire panel using my Rustic Wilderness Distress Ink. So once that cardstock is good and saturated, I'm going to take this over to my Spellbinders Platinum 6. Now the sandwich for this is going to be Platform A, Platform B, then we need our rubber mat, and on top of the rubber mat, I will be putting my cardstock. Now I did also do this on a 110 pound cardstock, so it's a heavy weight cardstock. And then I laid the chunky knit stencil on top. Now the key to this is using this baby wipe. So I'm going to trim mine down so it's going to fit over the front of my card panel nicely. And my baby wipe kind of has a little bit of a pattern or texture to it, which I think just adds more interest to my design and technique. So I'm placing the baby wipe right over the top of the stencil. And then I'm going to place on top my gray mat. Now this is the D adapter plate. And these came with my Platinum 6 machine. So I'm going to place this on top. And I have a paper towel ready because my baby wipes were super wet. So I'm being careful as I roll this through. I know that I'm going to have some excess water coming out. And I'm going to dab that up real quick so it doesn't get all over my machine. And then just keep running this through. So when I peel away that baby wipe and peel away that stencil, I am left with this amazing design. You can see wherever the baby wipe touched, it reacted with that distress ink. It kind of also embossed my stencil. And I just have this really fun design and pattern. I'm going to set that off on the side to dry. And while I have my die cutting machine out, I'm going to die cut the leafy sprig die. Now this, I wanted to show you, I got really good results when I placed my die more towards one edge versus being in the center. So if you do that with some of your intricate dies like this, they will die cut out really well. And this is a 110 pound cardstock that I'm using. So I'm just gonna take my die and put it towards the other edge of my die cut machine. And I will die cut out three of them so I can layer them up for dimension. I'm still waiting for my panel to dry, so I'm going to go ahead and do my sentiment. I'm using the reverse sister sentiments that I keep in these little storage pockets from Simon's Stamp. Now, these are actually toner, which means you can do some foiling with these. Normally, I use them as is because I really like the black sentiment strip, but I thought I would do some foiling with these today. So I have my mini mink warming up off on the side. I'm using my mini trimmer to trim out one of the sentiments from the set. Now when using the mini mink machine and when you're doing something with toner, you need to use deco foil or fancy foils. So I have the champagne deco foil from Thermoweb. I just trimmed out a small piece. I don't need a large piece because my sentiment is not that big. And then I just roll the rest back up and put it back in the tube. Normally I keep these in storage pockets, but I have not done that to this one yet. So I'm just going to pop it back into the tube. Now I'm taking my carrier sheet. I'm placing my sentiment in there so it is the sentiment facing up and then the pretty side of my foil facing up as well. Then I can feed this into my mini mink machine. My green light is on so I know it's ready and the rollers are gonna automatically grab that. You don't need to pull it or push it. It will automatically pull it through. Once that comes through, I'll remove that and I can peel back my foil and I have this perfectly foiled sentiment. Now in the pictures, it might be a little hard to read it, but you can definitely see it in person. It says a best sister ever. 
So my sentiment is ready and my panel is still really wet. So I'm trying to speed that up with my heat tool. I can tell it's still wet because it still feels really damp. And plus it is very cool to the touch. So I want this to be nice and dry before I do any trimming down. In the meantime, I'm going to layer up my die cuts of that leafy sprig. I'm adding some liquid glue behind all of the pieces. And then I'm going to add that on top. Now I am using a media grip mat to add this so that if any excess glue seeps out, I can easily clean it off of that media grip mat. My panel is finely dry, so I'm going to trim this down and I end up trimming it down about three and a half by four and three quarters. And I'm going to layer this on top of some more pieces of cardstock I trimmed down to the same size, but I'm going to take these double-sided sheets from Altenu and I'm going to place one behind that panel because I do have a lot of texture where the stencil kind of embossed into the cardstock. So I find it a lot easier to start out with one of these double-sided sheets. And then I can add this to another piece of cardstock cut just a little bit smaller than my panel. This is going to help add dimension. And then I can add this on top of a card base that I created from white cardstock that's going to measure four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm then going to add some liquid glue behind my die cut piece and add that to the center of my card. And once I do that, I will place something heavy on top of it to make sure it really gets secured down to that textured background. Now for my sentiment that I foiled, I trimmed down some black cardstock and layered it behind my sentiment to help build the dimension that way. You could certainly use a foam squares if you prefer, but I do like the full coverage that the cardstock provides. Then I added the liquid glue behind that and added that to the front of my card panel. I'm going to add some embellishments around my design and I have these black and gold pearl mix from Gina K Designs and I'm also using the new place and pierce tool from Simon Says Stamp. One end is a small kind of bead at the end that's tacky and the other end is a piercing tool. So I used that to attach these gold pearls around my die cut piece and sentiment. And then that's going to finish off the card project. Here's a close look at it. So we have that beautiful foiled sentiment in the center, the white die cut popping out, but I really love that kind of reactive technique that we did with the baby wipe. Now I had created this card previously and I believe with this one I used Lucky Clover. So experiment with the different inks out there because they're gonna give you such different results. And it's amazing the difference between these two cards, even though they're both greens, it's just amazing the difference between the two shades of color that comes out once we do the technique. All of my supplies will be listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. Thank you so much for stopping by today and I'll see you again real soon.